everyone, it is Tiffany of Clarity, Confidence, Courage, Women's Empowerment. Today, I wanna talk about how having a codependent relationship can deeply harm your confidence. Understanding codependence is important for really anyone, but it's especially important if you went through a codependent marriage and subsequently got a divorce. You see, if you were in a codependent marriage, then nine times out of 10, you're gonna be in another codependent relationship even after your divorce. So that's why it is so important to understand what codependency is, what the signs of codependency are, and how it truly affects your confidence. Now, of course, before we jump into this content, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Every time you share, like, and subscribe, you boost me up in the algorithm, and I have the potential to get connected to other women who are looking for this type of information so that they can go on to live peaceful, happy, healthy lives. All right, let's talk about codependency. First, let's talk about the idea of dependency. Dependency means when a person has to rely on someone else or something else in order to continue their life or their daily functions. For example, if you're a teenager, you may have to be dependent on your parents in order for your, your livelihood because they pay all the bills of the household. If you're in a marriage, you may depend on your partner to pick up your children at a certain time. If you live in a city, you may depend on the city government to keep the roads clear, to make sure there aren't any cracks in the road, right? If you work for an employer, you may depend on them to pay you on time so you can receive your paycheck and pay all your bills. You see, dependency is really a very normal part of our society. We all, in some way, indirectly depend on one another in any civilized society in order to live. So the concept of dependence, healthy levels of dependence, is very normal. However, codependence is something different. Codependence is when you put all of your attention, all of your energy, all of your emotions, all of just your whole identity into giving to someone else and making sure that their needs are met first. Codependence is an unhealthy type of dependence where you either have not established boundaries or you, your boundaries don't get acknowledged. You're not maintaining sufficient boundaries. This means it's difficult to understand where you end and your partner begins because you have literally amassed your identity in your partner's identity. Many times people in a codependent relationship mimics the behaviors and the traits of a person that has an addictive personality or someone that enables a person that has an actual addiction. Here are some signs that you may have a codependent personality or you may be involved in a codependent relationship. You have a willingness to self-sacrifice, meaning you'll give up who you are in order to benefit the other person. You either have low or no boundaries within the relationship. You have difficulty expressing yourself, expressing your feelings, or expressing your boundaries with that person. You tend to focus on other people's needs before your own. You have a deep desire to be approved of or validated by other people. You constantly apologize, even when you haven't done anything wrong or it's not your fault. You do everything to avoid conflict. You may not be sure if your feelings are your own or if you're feeling the emotions of the person you're with. You feel guilty when you think about prioritizing your own needs instead of putting someone else first. You tend to allow other people's behaviors to control your decisions. You feel the need to control or manage someone else in order to save them. And nine times out of 10, you're trying to save them from themselves. And lastly, you may just be a people pleaser. You want to please everyone even if it means hurting yourself internally. When you have a codependent personality and you tend to display codependent behavior, nine times out of 10, you're going to attract people in your life that have certain personalities as well. People that will actually use you and try to manipulate you. When you have a codependent personality and display codependent behavior, many times you'll attract people into your life that will use you. People with these personality traits tend to be attracted to people like you that they know they can take advantage of. Nine times out of 10, they have personality traits like being very needy, being manipulative, 
They may be a narcissist or have narcissistic traits. They may have an addiction. They may be abusive, whether verbally, physically, or sexually abusive. They may have a personality disorder or some type of mental health issue, or they may have experienced a lot of trauma in their past or their childhood and never got help for it. And they're looking to you to fix them. A codependent relationship can destroy your confidence because it eats away at your self-esteem, your self-worth, your values and belief in yourself, and your ability to see yourself as an individual human being with your own personal needs and desires. It also takes away the feeling that you have control of your life and the power to make your own decisions. Your life is basically being dictated by the behaviors, beliefs, opinions, values, and thought processes of other people, especially in a relationship. The scary thing about codependency is that even if you leave a bad relationship that was codependent, you will probably end up in another codependent relationship. The reason is because even though you've changed partners, you're still the same. You have not changed yourself. You haven't done the inner healing work to truly recognize who you are, your wants, your needs, your identity, and really what you desire and how to create healthy boundaries in order to attract a healthy relationship. Once you're able to do the inner healing work, you'll be able to set clear, firm boundaries and attract people that love, care, admire, and respect you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I hope it gave you some deeper awareness around what codependency is, how a codependent relationship can destroy your confidence, and why it's so important to work on doing the inner healing work so that you can build up your confidence, build up your self-esteem, build up your courage, and really create a life plan that gives you a sense of peace, comfort, and joy. And of course, attract relationships that truly, truly respect, love, and show you deep kindness and understanding. If you're in a space where you really want to work on dealing with issues around codependency and creating boundaries and healthy relationships, then definitely click on my link in the description and make sure you jump on my calendar for a free coaching strategy call. As a women's life coach, I focus on helping professional women that have gone through a divorce that are really trying to heal, trying to move forward and want the tools and techniques that they know they can get through coaching to help them move forward faster. My link is in the description for my calendar. I hope you have an amazing day and keep moving, keep thriving, and keep going forward. That's it for me, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.